Hello and welcome to the short video on Kupo's v set and v set with Super Combi Clamp. The V-mount is the industry standard when it comes to mounting large brick-style batteries. The V-mount gets its name simply due to the shape of the connector being shaped, yep, you guessed it, like the letter V. The male V connector is attached to the battery, and a female V receiver is generally attached to the battery plate mounted to the back of a camera or the back of a light fixture. The V-mount itself is incredibly simple to use. The male connector positively locks into the female receiver, so it's a very secure way of mounting heavy, expensive batteries. Kupo designed an ultra-small, precision-machined, quick-release V-lock set that is universal and can be used to mount much more than your typical V-mount batteries. The Kupo V-mount set consists of the female V-lock base and the male V-lock wedge. Both are precision machined from black anodized 6061 aluminum with tight tolerances, so there is no play when the wedge is locked into the base. The wedge features three M3 holes and comes with three M3 Phillips head screws for replacing the V-mount wedge on a battery to ensure the best connection with the Kupo V-lock base. It also features both quarter 20 and 3 16 threaded holes with two 3 16 threaded screws and one quarter 20 set screw so it can be easily mounted on any piece of gear with a quarter 20 or 3 16 female threads, creating a universal quick release system. The V-Lock base features three 3 16 threaded holes. The two bottom 3 16 holes are spaced one inch apart, perfectly aligned to mount on cheese plates. The top 3 16 hole has two adjacent holes designed for the Ari style 3 16 thread with anti-rotation locating pins. The base also features two M5 holes on the top designed to align with the M5 holes in the Super Convy clamp and to supply two M5 screws. Or if you'd like to mount your V-Lock base to the Super Convy clamp rotated 90 degrees, you can use the supplied 3A16 to M5 adapter and the M5 hole at the bottom of the adapter with the two M5 screws instead. Let's use a Kupo V-Lock set to mount a V-mount battery to power two Nanlite Pavo tubes. A high capacity V-mount battery will power the Pavo tubes for several hours at full power. Place a grip head on the top pin of a C-stand. With the big handle facing you, slide the 5 8 inch grip arm into the baby hole so that the arm's grip head is facing up and slightly to the right so that it's roughly centered and tighten the big handle. We'll mount our V-lock mounting plate with super clamp to the end of our grip arm right next to the head. Next, we'll mount the Kupo swivel mounting plate with 3 8 inch pin to the twist lock mounting plate for two T12 lamps by aligning the two arrows and turning clockwise until it clicks. Mount two Nanlite Pavo tubes in the spring clips by applying gentle force until they pop into place. Position a large leg of a C-stand to the right and drop a sandbag on it for stability. Insert the 3 8 inch pin of the swivel mounting plate into the 3 8 inch hole of the grip arm and turn the big handle clockwise to lock in place. Mount the D-tap side of the cable into the D-tap port on the side of the battery. Plug the barrel connector on the other side of the cable into the Pavo tube's Y cable. Power the lights on and you are good to go for several hours. Now, let's mount this field monitor using a Rock's arm and a V-lock set as a quick release. We'll thread the 3 16 thread of a Rock's arm into the top hole of the back of a V-lock base until snug. Next, we'll screw the quarter 20 thread of our Rock's arm into the quarter 20 hole on our camera's top handle or camera cage. We'll use the Phillips screwdriver to attach the V-lock wedge to the bottom of our field monitor using the supplied 3 16 screw until snug. Now, every time you want to mount the field monitor to the Rock's arm, just slide the V-mount wedge into the V-mount receiver on the arm until it clicks into place. To release the V-mount wedge, simply press the side lever and slide it out. If the release lever is hard to reach, it comes with a black machined extension with a knurled end that just screws into the end of the lever. The V-lock set is also available as a kit with a Super Combi clamp. The V-mount wedge and the V-mount lock base are also available separately to customize all your V-lock needs. As you can see, the V-Lock set is way more than just a system for mounting V-Mount batteries. It's the core of an entire positive locking, strong and lightweight quick release system. Throw a few kits into your grip bag and save both time and frustration on your next production. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. When it comes to your image making dreams and your grip equipment, at Kupo, we like to say, never let go.